I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to sketch a sinusoidal function. Let me take a function which has all the transformations and then we will discuss how to sketch such a function. So we have general equation which is y equals to a times sine k x minus p plus q. So let the equation be a particular graph maybe y equals to minus 2 sine of let us say this is half and we have x minus let us say we have 45 degrees and uh, uh, plus q let us take a value of plus 1 so let that that be the equation to be sketched now as you can see here we have vertical stretch by a factor of 2 reflection on x axis horizontal stretch by a factor of 2 translation of 45 degrees to right and one unit so this kind of graph we will sketch in two steps. Step number one for us will be to incorporate all the stretches and reflections which I say will be kind of y equals to minus 2 sine of half x. right? So that will be our step number one. And in the second step we will perform the translations. So then finally we will get our real value. Let me call this as y dash and the real graph will be minus 2 sine of half x minus I mean x minus 45 degrees plus 1 so we will add to the original translations to get our result right so let's try to see how to sketch the first part which is reflection on x-axis vertical stretch by 2 horizontally stretched by a factor of 2. So what we have from the first part is, so that is here, we have amplitude of 2 and time period t will be, uh, since this is in degrees, we will take 360 degrees, 360 degrees divided by half, which is 720 degrees. So we have a sine function whose time period is 720. 20 degrees right so this could be uh, let's make a big graph here so let us say that is the coordinate axis and uh, let's say the graph sign since it, it is negative it starts moving downwards first and then upwards so we can have a graph which is kind of like this right so so that is one wave so this is one wave of minus 2 sine half x as we have seen, the amplitude for this particular sine wave is, is 2. So the maximum will be 2, minimum will be minus 2, time period is 720. Let me label them, right? So this is 360 degrees. Half of 360 is 180, correct? So this is 180 degrees. And then we have 360 plus 180, which is 540 degrees. So this graph is the first part for us, correct? That is to say, we have already sketched minus half. So let me write down here. We have sketched uh, this function, uh, which is here, right? Minus half, minus 2 sine of half x. Now we need to incorporate the translation. Translation is 45 degrees to right and 1 unit up. That is the translation. And the five points which we always consider will be starting point zero, minimum, zero. So all zeros, maximum, minimum points. These are the points which we are going to consider. And we'll translate them 45 degrees right and one unit up. Now in this particular scale, what is 45 degrees for us? Let us look into that part. 45 degrees is C. This is 180, so 90 will be that much, and 45 is this. So this is this is 45 for us, right? So since this is 45, let me draw a point here. So that becomes 45 degrees for us. So every point moves 45 degrees to the right and one unit up. So now that is 2, so this becomes 1 for us. Do you see that? Also remember, 1 is our axis. So it's a good idea to actually sketch the axis itself. So if I sketch the axis, this is what I get. That is my axis, right? So that is the axis. 
all our zeros will fall on the axis. That helps, right? So what we are doing now is moving 45 units right and one unit up. So the first point which we get is right there, right? So this is my first point. Second point, we have to move 45, which is almost this much, and one unit up, right? So we come to minus one. So that is minus one for us. So that becomes the second point. The third point, we need to move 45, which is this much, and then up, let us say here, right? So, so we get the lower half of the graph, which is, which is kind of like this, okay? Okay, let me just make this point like this. That's good. And now, 45 right and one unit up, so it goes to two, which is the maximum point. So, so it is kind of like this, right? And this point, 45 and one unit down, so we can just bring it down from there to to a point here on the axis. So this graph which you see is the one which is the final graph, right? So that is that is the final graph for us. So the two steps are in the first step incorporate the stretches, reflections and um, horizontal and vertical reflections stretches and compressions, right? In the second part, incorporate horizontal and vertical translations. So that is how we get. So here, what we did is we translated uh, 45 degrees to right and one unit up, right? In our original graph, where we had seen reflection, vertical, stretch by a factor of two and horizontal I should say horizontal stretch by a factor of two. So when you incorporate all those things in the first one, you have taken care of the multiplication part, which is reflection, stretches and compression. And in the second part, do addition and subtraction, which is translations, vertical or horizontal, right? So in this fashion, you can actually very easily sketch any sinusoidal function. So try to follow this principle and see if it works for you. Thank you and all the best.